Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is May 9th of 2019. Just wanted to update you a little bit on the Windows camera. I'm running Windows 10. By the way, you can look down here and see I'm running uh, Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. But I'm uh, fairly recently, I'm not sure at what point they did it, they've upgraded the program that comes, the camera program that comes with Windows 10. Uh, you can also go to, you know, the uh, Microsoft Store and you can download it. Now you should, it should come with Windows 10, but I guess there's a possibility that you could, uh, you know, you might have deleted it or be using something else, but it comes with it. But they've made some big improvements uh, and I'm not sure when they made them. And then also what I just discovered yesterday is that you can uh, sign up using the app or using this app here you can sign up for getting previews of uh, you can be on the what do they call it where you're going to get previews of this uh, app and uh, so I'm using that app right now to record this video. I have it, uh, I've got it set on, you know, video mode. If I didn't have it on video, if I put it on the camera mode, you're going to see that it's going to, you're going to see the tracking, where it's tracking my, tracking my face. It does a very good job. Uh, they've also got a document mode and they've got a whiteboard mode and uh, okay that's the whiteboard mode you can see it right here it's trying to it sees this up there and it's trying to track that now um, let's get back here to video mode oops what did I just do Well, I didn't want to be recording it. Oh, I think I started recording. I'm, I'm not, I'm recording the desktop, so. Stop taking, okay. Um, so up here we have some settings. Uh, when I, when you press such and such, uh, pro mode off, framing, you can pick the resolution, you know, the photo quality, uh, time lapse, uh, the video quality, flicker reduction, uh, where their pictures are saved and the videos are saved. Here it is. Uh, test out the new experimental features, help test features in their preliminary stages. So I've got that turned on. And of course it tells the uh, Okay, if I wanted to not do that, then I could press this and leave the uh, preview mode. So, um, so here we have manual focus. Okay. And here we have brightness that we can adjust. Okay, so I see manual focus would be sliding this thing here. Well, I look better that way, don't I? And for brightness, we can uh, affect the brightness. There we go. And uh, let's see, we already did that. Down here is where you, the camera roll. That's, so this is where your pictures and stuff are saved. So if you click that, then I think we would uh, go to the next, go back to other pictures. No. See camera row. Okay, we can delete. This must be where they are. Open the photo apps. Yeah, okay, this is where they are. Welcome back to photos. Uh, we've enabled new settings. I accept. And uh, here, there, here are the pictures. 
and looks like you can do a bunch of things. So they've made tremendous improvements in this window app. It used it. Uh, whoops, it's frozen. Oh, that's because we're not in the. Uh, go back to the photo mode. Here we are. I'm back. So here's the app. Uh, let's see what it says. The camera app is faster and simpler than ever. Just point and shoot to take great pictures automatically on any PC or tablet running Windows 10. While recording video, pause and resume whenever you want. The camera app can automatically stitch them together into one uh, video so you can skip the boring parts and capture only what's important. Use a timer to get yourself in the, sh in the shot. Compose the picture and the framing grid. Automatically back up your photos to OneDrive so you can get to them from any device including your phone. And if your hardware supports it, you can save time by taking a picture of a whiteboard instead of... Okay, I wanted to show you that. So that would be, if, especially if you have this, if you have the uh, app on a uh, laptop or something like that, because let's see, uh, let's go here and go to the, let's say the next photo. Uh, I'm not sure what that's doing. Is that zooming in or I'm not sure what that's it. But anyway, that's what it's. And this is photo. I'm not sure what it's doing there. Here we are. So, you know, this would be, say you're sitting at your, in a class and you have a laptop or whatever and you can apparently stretch this to decide what part of the whiteboard that you want to take in. That'd be pretty neat. So, I think that's it. I just wanted to, um, there are other camera apps on here, but I think this is definitely the best, you know, and it's working with, uh, of course, my uh, Logitech cameras. Anyway, just wanted to let you know uh, about that. I've, I've got this microphone on a uh, boom now. I... Uh, I think now I may switch. I'll, I'll see how this does with this blue Yeti. But um, my other microphones that I have look much better. And they also have the mount and the shock absorber. And I could, uh, they'd look much better. So we'll see how this sounds. And then I may, I may switch uh, microphones. So thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get 3,000 subscribers, and I've been trying for forever. <laughs> so please subscribe if you're not.